I've been wondering what, uh, if you had an engine out, what speed would you fly, best glide, what do you do? What's the choices? Well, there's actually two. There's best glide and there's mid sync. We're going to take a look at those today and try to figure it out for your airplane. So stick with us on Flywire. Scott Purdue and today on Flywire we're going to look at Best Glide and Mint Sync. Best Glide comes from the book. Mint Sync, they don't publish it. The factory, the factory doesn't usually publish those things. But we're going to look at how do we figure that out for our airplane. And this is all preparation for a little bit of an engine out series that I want to do. And uh, let's do a little level off here. We're going to look at uh, Best glide from the book for beach, the book answer is uh, 110 knots, and uh, men sink, what's that? Well, the uh, factory actually put out a, uh, a number that they call, or a knot speed they call, the emergency approach speed, which is 81 knots, and that's supposed to give you enough um, energy to flare and uh, do the landing and flare. So we're going to look at uh, that. We're going to look at uh, trying to figure out how do we do mid sync. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, best glide and uh, try to get an idea. Uh, we'll do about 2,000 feet. We're starting at 6,500. So we'll do about 2,000 feet worth of uh, glide just to see how that goes. I'll climb up and we'll do, we'll try to work on mid sync. See how that works. So let's slow down. All right, so we're drilling along here, uh, VFR at 6,500 and all of a sudden we lose power. So what's the first thing we do? Well, if we're faster than uh, best glide, then the choice is to uh, uh, zoom climb or just slow down looking for a, a place to glide. So I pull the prop, we're at 110, and we're looking for a place to land. I'll talk about that in the, in the next video is how we figure out what the place to land is. All I'm going to do is right now looking, looking at what the, what the performance is. So. I can trim it up and it's doing uh, 110 knots, uh, pretty good. So I, I look around for a place to land, I check, change tanks, I put the uh, fuel pump on, all these things to try to get it to work it again. And uh, doesn't work, so we're gonna land. All right, it's 5,300, so that's 1,200 feet we've lost so far. So airplane's performing pretty well, I think. We'll figure it out. Everything, all the cameras are working. We should be able to figure it out. Decent rate's about a thousand feet per minute here at Best Guide. We're coming up on uh, 4,500. That's the altitude I said I was going to stop at. So we're going to run it all the way down to 4,500. Okay, here we come. 4,500. <laughs> I put the prop back into it. Man, you can feel, you can feel it act like a speed brake. All right, let's climb back up to 6,500. This time we're gonna try mid sink out. So 6,500 at 110 knots gives about 1,000 feet per minute today. 63 degrees Fahrenheit OAT. All right, we're climbing again at cruise climb, passing through 5,500 right about now. So I've got another thousand feet a minute to go, and uh, we're not climbing as fast as we were descending. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, so mid sink. What does that mean? Well, I'm not interested in distance at mid sink. What I'm really interested in is uh, increasing my time a lot. I'm not really going to go anywhere, so. Say, uh, you know, the, I've already got a good landing zone or an airport right below my wings and my my uh, glide range. Uh, so 
I don't need to go distance. I don't need that. What I need is time. I need time to get my stuff together, you know, go through all my checks, uh, relax, you know, catch my breath again, you know, all those kind of things. Those are the, the things I, I want to do is one, maximize my time that I have. And I'm going to do that with mincing. So we're going to try a couple of different speeds. We know at 110, uh, our descent rate's 1,000. I've done steep spiral practice in this before and uh, at 133, which is the, the book answer for what you do steep spirals at. And uh, the descent rate is humongous. It's like 1,300 feet per minute. So that's not in sync. So going faster isn't the trick, it's going slower. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to try in sync at uh, 81. The book answer about, uh, all right, so here we are. So we have our engine failure. All the prop back. Gonna slow down. Passing through 90, it's 460 feet per minute. 89, 85 is 380, 81, there's 81, let's see if we can catch that. It's 500, 600 feet per minute. It's 800 feet per minute at 81. Okay, let's try it a little bit slower. about 700 feet per minute and right around 72 knots. So let's go back to 81 and we'll try that out. Because I like 81 better. I like this whole idea of having a little bit of energy to actually land, to flare. 72, man, you don't got any energy to, to dissipate. So, NSYNC would be an altitude thing. Of course, you know, when you're gonna, in a high stress environment like this, are you gonna have, be able to spend a lot of time thinking about what's going on instead of having a target speed that you can do. So 81 gives us about 770. So that's only about 60 feet per minute, 50 feet per minute. I'm doing 740, 750, 730. So I'm kind of like an 81 as a mint sync tar target frame, target airspeed. The thing about it is, is that uh, it's better to have a target than to have a whole lot of thinking. All right, that's enough of that. I'm going to add some prop to it. Well, there you have it. That was pretty interesting today, I think. I think I learned a lot. Uh, we looked at uh, Best Glide, and that was doing about 110 book answer. It was giving us about 1,000 feet per minute. Uh, that's supposedly the best range, and uh, Four Flight has their little thing in there. And oh, by the way, we're actually going to look at that next video, so hang on till next week. We're going to look at uh, engine failure and cruise flight, and then what Best Glide gives you. Using Four Flight as our uh, guide and, uh, you know, the heightened uh, tension. So we looked at the best performance today was Best Glide at 110 with prop pulled all the way back, 1,000 feet per minute. That, I think that was pretty interesting. We also looked at men's sink. Men's sink gave us best, uh, or the, the lowest descent rate at about 72 knots, right around 700 feet per minute. The, uh, then that approach, uh, emergency approach speed that uh, Beach publishes at 81 knots-ish uh, gave us uh, 
about 750, 760 feet per minute. The thing about that is, is that uh, um, you, at the end game, you're going to have to have to dip the nose down to get that 81 knots so you have enough energy to flare and you don't crump into the ground. Uh, you don't want to hit the ground with a whole lot of energy. You want to be able to control it and that 81 knots is designed to do that. So it's only 50 feet per minute that you give up. Uh, it's still 25% better than best glide so it maximizes your time. I'm thinking I'm going to fly 81 knots. The interesting thing about 81 knots is uh, if you've been following Dan Greider and uh, his uh, comments about a min maneuvering speed, uh, that uh, it's 1.404 times your uh, stall speed. That actually works out to be 81 knots. So uh, for the beach, for the Bonanza. So that's pretty interesting, I think. And uh, that's the best min sink speed, uh, I think, to fly. That's my nickel on the grass. It's really given me pause to think about what to do in an engine out uh, situation for uh, for an engine out from cruise flight from some altitude uh, I don't think I'm gonna change things I can still target 81 knots and all that but for a takeoff profile I think I'm gonna have to add a third video to this as an engine out and the takeoff profile and we'll take a look at that so that's gonna be another video down the line but meanwhile I hope you enjoyed uh, watching it thanks for sticking with me this far uh, if you really liked it hit subscribe I appreciate that it really helps me out if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification of the next time uh, the video comes out. Meanwhile, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Flywire.